Hello everybody, my name is Kurt G. Today we are back on Minecraft. We're probably in a place that you don't recognise. Uh, now, um, this is something I've been working on for about the past six months, on and off. Um, but yeah, um, I think there's finally enough content uh, to make an entire video about. So before we get into the tour of Ashengard, um, only a small percentage of you are subscribed, so if you do subscribe, it will help the channel, it will motivate me to make content, and at 2,000 subscribers, we're doing the Kurt Brogy SMP, uh, also, if you want to see the lore behind this, um, uh, world, uh, there is a link to the Discord server where there is a channel called the Ashengard Project, which has, uh, like, little, uh, snippets of lore about different places in this world, uh, but yeah, uh, let's get into the tour. So we start here. This is the main village. Uh, it's called Linter. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the main, well, the main village so far. There's obviously going to be more villages. But this, basically, um, brief summary, this is the um, the oldest village in Ashengard. Um, and yeah, uh, it uh, has a couple secrets. But yeah, so let's start so all of these houses uh they do look the same but they're all furnished differently inside so you've got a house here uh then we've got a house over here i won't show all of them because yeah they are kind of uh yeah but they are all differently furnished uh, just to give it a, a bit more of a unique feel to each one of them instead of just copy and pasting them uh got this one that uh here and then actually we might as well show them all there's only three more uh then we've got this one here uh then we've got uh this one over here um yeah and then we've got this one here now this one's actually kind of special we'll come back to why that's kind of special we won't go in there yet um but yeah uh we we won't say why it's special yet but we'll, we will come back to it uh closer to the end so yeah over here um uh, as we uh, get closer to it this is the linta mine uh this is um actually fairly new uh, so yeah, um there's a person here i don't actually think i've given no i haven't given any dialogue yet uh, actually, I should probably go into survival for this so we can get the uh, proper feel uh, of this. And obviously, it's peaceful mode. Um, it's because, yeah, the not, mobs aren't meant to spawn. There's no way to eat food. Yeah, I don't think I've given Adam um, any dialogue yet. But basically, this is the mine. If we go all the way down here, uh, yeah, uh, you can kind of guess what's down there. Uh, it's a mine shaft. Uh, it's pretty cool. It, it actually did take quite a while to build this. Uh, because I had to blow all of it up with TNT and then I had to cover all of like the external caves that I found. Uh, so that actually did take a couple of hours to build. Um, I personally think it's one of the better builds in this. It, um, it more detailed. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of simplistic, so there's not really much there to show. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, that's that's just not for the path. There's no point. Um, yeah, we want to get this tour done, don't we? So yeah, um, here, this is the blacksmith. Uh, we've got Owen Daniels here. He is um, the Linter blacksmith. Uh, I tried to base this off of um, the actual blacksmiths that are in villages. Um, but yeah, I think I did a kind of good job uh, in here. This is just a, his house, it's where he lives. Um, but yeah, I think I did kind of a good job. I, this does need, I do think this does need a little bit of an overhaul though, like this bit here. I think the house is fine. I do think this little outside bit should um, be revamped. But yeah, it's, pre it's pretty decent. I think it's nice. Uh, so yeah, over here, we might as well do uh, one side. Um, yeah, one side at a time. Because there is actually quite a bit to cut, uh, uncover uh, over there. Um, so yeah, this uh, over here, uh, you will see it takes a minute to get over here. Uh, but yeah, it's because it's the closest forest uh, I could find. Um, but yeah, uh, here, this is the lumberjack, um, this is the lumberjack house, this is where he lives, I ignore me taking damage, it doesn't matter, I won't die. Uh, but yeah, uh, we actually haven't got a lumberjack in here, uh, he doesn't exist yet, we haven't get, we haven't made an NPC for him, and um, by, by we, I mean me, uh, I, yeah, no one else has worked on this, it, um, well, I mean, obviously I've had people in the world, um, that, but they haven't built anything significant, but yeah. So this is the lumberjack house. You see, he's got the axe and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's got the axe and um, his um, suit, uh, his lumberjack gear. Uh, but yeah, this I think this looks pretty good. It's more of one of the more minimalistic ones I've built. Uh, considering the size of the house, it is kind of small. Um, and also, I I like how I've done the uh, back bit there. I think that looks pretty cool. 
obviously, um, your your opinion uh, uh, can be uh, voiced uh, in the comments if you do uh, wish to leave a comment about this world. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is some more. Uh, obviously, there's way more. There is m much, much more. Uh, I think we'll do the little secret thing now. Uh, we might as well if we're going uh, l um, left or right. So yeah, this is kind of the last thing on the left side. Uh, so basically, this house here, we didn't go in here for a reason. Uh, now, um, yeah, if you're playing this in survival and you didn't see, uh, well, you don't know what's happened, so you don't, you haven't seen this video. Basically, if you talk to this guy, uh, William Power, he says, apparently there is a hidden place in the well. I heard one of the houses here has a button that can open the door to it. Ah, now, uh, interesting, uh, interestingly enough, this house here is the one with the button. Uh, you can see it kind of there. Uh, yeah, there's a wooden button there. Uh, you press it. Uh, it will come up with that. Uh, look at the bottom of the well to find the portal into hell. The opening can only open for a short time. So get down there and try not to die. Now, uh, there's a command block up there that um, holds um, holds the door in at the bottom of the well open for 50 ticks exactly. So a little less than 6 seconds. Uh, so you've got to press the button. Uh, can we actually press the button? And then, yeah, you've got to run. Over here, you've got to get into the well. Uh, oh, okay. I guess it didn't work. I think I might have to put my HUD on for this because it's kind of difficult to do without a hand or anything. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll we'll make it so I have my hand. Uh, right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that that'll help. So yeah, because now I know if I'm actually pressing the button. So yeah, uh, you press the button. You sprint over here. Trust me, there is something down here. Look, the door opens and look in there. That's where we are. I can turn, turn my hand off now. Uh, absolutely just destroy my hand. It's now gone. Uh, so yeah, this is a little dungeon bit. Uh, this is also another lore point uh, that I do want to expand upon in the future. But yeah, uh, so you, you, you see, it's kind of obnoxious how you're meant to actually get into the main dungeon. This is not it, by the way. This is not the entire thing. Uh, you go here, you open the chest... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, you get sent down here. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, yeah, this is the main dungeon. Uh, so, yeah, there's a little ritual pad here. If you read the um, thing on the Ashen Guard projects on the Discord server, link in the description once again, you'll be able to know exactly what this is uh, because I've explained it thoroughly. Uh, there's no point going to the Nether yet. Um, yeah, um, basically how the story goes. Uh, the um, ancients, which is the thing. Um, so there was, there's the ancients and the post ancients. We're in the post ancient age now because all the ancients died. Um, but yeah, basically this is this marked the end of the end. Uh, this marked the end of the ancient era because all the ancients died, so they could uh, hold the portal open uh, infinitely, uh, well permanently, should I say? Uh, and yeah, this was the ritual point. They did a, um, something I coined as a nether ritual. Uh, I know, very original name, right? But yeah, they opened the portal forever. They all died. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't we, we don't know where the bodies went. They kind of just evaporated. But yeah, nothing in the nether yet. Still work in progress, so there's no point going in there. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we've got a sprint jump out here. This is the uh, exit. It takes you out uh, near the mine uh, around the river there. Uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, that You'll be able to see that the mine... Uh, oh, no, sorry, the blacksmith. Uh, yeah, and the mine's over there, blacksmith is there. Uh, so yeah, it is kind of, it's kind of big. It did take a while, because I, I did it all by hand. Um, I, I haven't used commands really in this. I've used them for a, a couple of uh, bigger bits that you'll see soon. We'll have to go into creative mode uh, for a lot um, for the uh, last bits of this, because I haven't actually connected them up to anything. So it'd just be easier to fly over there. But yeah, here, this is, oh, wait, sorry, no, we've got another thing. Uh, if we're going left to right, we have got another thing to do. So here is the Lenta Weaponry Shop. Uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, John Pickens does not have any dialogue yet. I really need to add dialogue. Uh, someone's stolen the Netherite sword. It's it's a very valuable sword because, yeah, um, yeah, they've only just started nether mining. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so you've got wood, uh, stone, iron, uh, gold, diamond, and, well, meant to be netherite, uh, obviously. Uh, so just like a generic weaponry shop. Um, yeah, that's really it. It's just, it's just a bigger version of one of the houses, except it doesn't have a chimney. Uh, now here, this thing on the other hand, I am particularly proud of this build. Uh, this is the old amulet tavern. Um, this is, um, as the story goes, this is the oldest uh, tavern in um, in Ashengard. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a couple hundred years, well, it's, yeah, a couple hundred years old. 
it's pretty it's pretty big uh you can see on the inside there uh but yeah these are like where the kegs of beer are, um are held uh then uh yeah if we actually go inside the main thing uh you got some tables you got the you got the bar itself then up here this is where the barkeep sleeps and uh well lives i guess uh, I want. I do want to decorate this more. Uh, yeah, you got. Yeah, please keep in mind all of this is a work in progress. Nothing of this is actually finished except probably that. Uh, now here, here we go. This is um, the market. Um, the market road. Now, um, more. Law this is another law point, and it's kind of um, kind of long to explain here. So yeah, uh, look at it on the Discord. Uh, yeah. So uh, oh, <laughs> okay. So I. <laughs> I forgot. So, Creeper Dude 2007, or I got DLC right here, as he's known on YouTube. Uh, he's been on this world. Uh, I let him create an NPC called Ooga Booga McGee, which is the botanist, and I did not realize the text just read, You will develop tumors. Um, yeah, apologies about that. Yeah, no, no, none of these guys have dialogue, by the way, but we have got uh, Daniel Stevens. Uh, who is the shepherd? We've got um, we've got Adam Johnson, who's the butcher, uh, and we have got I actually can't remember this person's name. Uh, Sophie Jenkins, who's the florist, and oh, okay, Creeper Dude is back with um, I am a con artist. Sasa Samokos is my husband. <laughs> Why you ruined a perfect thing? You ruined a perfect thing, George. How could you? How could you? Um, but yeah, this is all, um, but yeah, uh, that's a lore point, uh, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, this is actually the longest road that I've, that we've actually made, so we're, we're, uh, we're not actually going to continue, uh, by, in survival. We're gonna go back into creative, just so we can actually move a bit quicker, because it does take a while. But yeah, this is the stables, uh, we actually haven't got a name for this yet, well, I haven't got a name for this yet, but this is, um, just the stable over here, you've got some horses, got a lot of hay, uh, the inside, I don't think, is furnished. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, but yeah, I actually spent a lot longer on this build than I really should have. It, it, it really did not take... Uh, it really should not have taken as long as it did, but it did take uh, that long. Uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of... Um, yeah, it's, I think it's pretty cool. I think it worked out well in the end. I tried a different building style. I used wool instead of uh, like uh, just uh, old colours um, like cobblestone and uh, wood. I started to use wool, but yeah... Uh, now we're getting into the big, the big, big project that I'm still working on. But that, that ruined portal there, that is not part of the build. I just haven't removed it yet. Uh, but yeah, this bridge, um, this bridge takes you out of Linter. This is the official bridge out of Linter. Um, and it takes you into uh, Southwest Ashengard. Um, also, that used to be na uh, known as Southwest Onolastri, I think I named it. Um, before it was conquered by the Ashengard Empire. Um, but yeah, this is the main kingdom of Ashengard here. This is still a major work in progress. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the main village area. And then we've got this entire bit here dedicated to the castle. Uh, so yeah, this... Um, there's enough here to show you. Because there is actually has been a lot of work going on on it. So you walk in here, there's obviously the throne... Uh, to the left here, this is the kitchen where um, the food is prepared. Uh, here is the dining room. Uh, I'm particularly proud of this, uh, honestly. I, do, I think this turned out quite well. Uh, I did make a big mistake though. I've made, I've accidentally made all of the walls even instead of odd. So a lot of it has almost been off center, which is kind of annoying. But we're, we're kind of coping with it. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see where it's been off center. But yeah, uh, this, uh, you know, there's also, there's this little bit back here. Um, yeah, sweet berries are the national, uh, the national fruit of Ashengard. Um, yeah, that was taken from another project of mine called, uh, the Kingdom of Centimore, uh, where that was also, um, the national, um, the national fruit, uh, slash berry or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's the same on both sides, so we don't really need to go to the second one. But up here, uh, this is still, this is the work in progress area, so none of these rooms are furnished up here. But we have got this bit here. So we've got um, we've got the fountain, which I I didn't actually intend to make a fountain. I intend to make it a statue, but I thought let's put water over this and see if it looks good. And it looked kind of good. So we yeah, it's now it's now a fountain. And here I I like this. So this is kind of just like a hall of armor. 
And then here we've got um we've got netherite and diamonds, the two rarest um the two rarest minerals to make armor out of in Ashengard and just in the game in general. And then we've got the banner of Ashengard, uh the blue uh the blue shield with a bit of red in it. Uh and then yeah, we've got another unfurnished room. Uh there's also I think yeah, there's one more okay, I sorry, I need to just quickly uh turn this to day and weather to clear. Uh, there is one other section, uh, and then we're done. It's an unfinished section. I was planning to come back to it at a later date. I probably will after I finished uh, the main, uh, the main Ashen Guard city. Uh, but yeah, it's over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I will find it. It's like yeah, it's it's past the mountain. It does take a while to get there. Here it is. Uh, this is the Jeweling Mills uh, farm. Uh, now this did actually take a lot longer than it looks to make. Um, yeah, this is really big. Uh, so we've only managed to make one windmill. Uh, the second uh, windmill is still in progress. Uh, I honestly, honestly, this is still in progress. I think I abandoned it because I just couldn't get a roof that looked good. Uh, but yeah, in here. Uh, this at one point was function was going to be functioning, but then I couldn't uh, really put it in there without making all the command blocks like over here and underneath. Uh, so I decided to give up on that. But yeah, uh, it goes here. So basically, if it did work, you would put a wheat in here. Uh, then you'd press a lever, and then it would down here it'd drop sugar uh, or uh, wheat uh, or flour as it w would be uh, properly. I did actually make a working one of them in the old uh, Let's Play. The, um, I think it was the, yeah, the 1. Uh, 1. 1.13 to 1.15 Let's Play uh, that, I, that I abandoned. Um, but yeah, it, um, I think it was like episode 50-ish. Uh, but yeah, it was, pre it was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see a working one of them, just check there. Uh, but yeah, that is Ashen Guard at this current moment. I think it looks good. Or if I'm being honest, I do think I've done a kind of good job, uh, but please do leave your opinion on it in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about this because I've spent so much time on this. Honestly, it's spe I've spent so much time on this. If you want to see more lore points, uh, check the Discord out under the channel Ashen Guard Project. We've set up a new Discord. It's really good. I love it so much. But yeah. That's going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, feel free to give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as always, keep on gaming and stay safe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!